Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can we make login in Android Studio application using Facebook. But I'm going to divide this topic into two videos. In the first video, I'm going to talk about how can we make the setting to generate the key hash, the Facebook application ID, and so on. And in the second video, we are going to talk about how can we implement the code using either Kotlin or Java. So at first, you should create an Android Studio project. So let's go to Android Studio, start new Android Studio project, and let's call this project as Adan IT weekly and I'm going to change the domain for example to weekly dot it dot com okay now click on next okay next next and finish so this is the first step so the first step is to create an Android Studio project. Then the next step is to go to the Facebook website and log in into your account. I am already logged in, in my account. So when I go to Facebook, I am already make login to my account. The third step is to go to developer to facebook.com. All those steps, you will find them on the description of those video. So don't worry. So if I go to developer.facebook.com, this is the website used to create a Facebook application ID. You should take this ID and best it in your code in our Android Studio, as we can see in the next video. But here now, I am already using this website, so I have a list of my apps. If this is the first time you go to this website, you will find a button called Get Started. Anyway, here, let's use now Add New App. So I'm going to click on Add New App. I'm going to call it Eden IT Weekly, and then click on Create Application ID. Okay, now, give it the authorization code, Q, E, Q, H, and then click on submit. Now your app has been generated, and this is your application ID, which you should copy and paste it in your Android Studio, as I'm going to show you in the next video. But at first, let's go now to the setting, and click on the basic setting. Now, after we open the developer facebook.com and we have created a Facebook application, the fifth step is to create Android platform, which means this screen is used to make login through Facebook, but you can connect your Facebook with website, Android apps, iOS apps, games, Sony PlayStation, Xbox, and so on. So how can we define our platform? We should go down and click on Add Platform. And as you can see here, we have multiple platforms. So now I'm going to select Android. Now, he will ask about at first about your package. So now here, I'm going to take this package, copy, and paste it here. So this is your package. Then in the class name, you should also paste your package dot your screen or your activity, which is main activity in this example. So this is my activity, which is the main activity, okay? Now, the most important step, generate the hash key okay so here we should generate something called key hash or hash key okay so the facebook will allow you to connect to your facebook server how can we create hash key 
at first, you should go to google.com and write something like download open SSL. Maybe it is for Windows 10 or only for Windows. It's up to you. Now, click here on open SSL in the sourcefork.net and simply you can download it. When you download this app, it will show as a folder. So go and copy and paste this folder in the C drive. As we can see, I am already downloaded and paste it here in the C drive. Then after that, you should go to program files, the folder Java, JDK, and bin. Here we have a command called key tool. This key tool is used to create this type of key. So copy the path here, right click and copy this path. Then start and go to the command prompt, CMD to open the command prompt. Now, how can we return back to the C? It's very simple, just write command like CD slash press enter and you will go to the C. Then write something like CD space and best the path you already copy. Now you will be in the bin. After that, only copy and paste this command. You will find this command in the description of this video. So copy and paste it here, press enter. Yes, this is your key hash. So just click here, edit, mark to select this key and then edit and copy. Now go to the Facebook and best it here. Now you are ready. You have created a Facebook ID. You have created the key hash. You put the package name and activity name. Now you can click on save changes. It will ask you, so choose use this package name. Now everything is ready. The last step you should take this ID, which is the app ID, copy this one and go to the Android Studio and here in the app, in the resources, go to the values, open the string file and let's create a variable here, string. Let's call this variable as fp underscore ID, stand for Facebook ID, for example. And here, best your ID. So now you have finished all the main settings. In the next video, I'm going to show you what you should write in XML and Kotlin and how can we add the Facebook library. So see you in the next week for the next video.